Hey guys, Tju22 here, and we have the first of two bragging rights matches. And uh, the first of which, uh, well, of course it's a three on three match, but as for the competitors that were chosen by random, yeah, not even I know who it's going to be, so uh, just bear with me. Well, uh, this is for SmackDown, of course, and we have the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Not a bad choice if you are, uh, yeah, not, not a bad choice if you, uh, yeah, the, uh, how do I put this? Yeah, yeah, uh, for SmackDown, you have, the chances of you winning with Mark Henry are pretty good. I mean, he is the strongest man in the world, so why not? Why not? And of course the fans don't and the, and of course the fans don't like him, but they'll have to uh, respect him. And his partner or one of his partners or yeah, one of his partners. Well, folks, uh, here we have Slim Kirby, who had just not too long ago turned to the dark side. And, uh, well, this is his first match as a bad guy, and, uh, I'll tell you one thing, the fans really felt betrayed, you know, when they saw him do something you'd never would ever that you would never suspect from Slim Kirby, and that is a back jumper. He just back jumped uh yeah, I mean he, he attacked uh Newfie Bonga from behind, which is very which was not typical of him before, but now he has taken a detour. And I would not blame his conduct on Edward Kill because because deep down he had to harbor resentment he had to harbor jealousy and and even if it and even if he wasn't jealous I'm pretty sure he was you know he he, uh, he attacked Nufi Banga I mean I guess he felt that Nufi Banga was a threat to him and he attacked him for from behind for no other reason but that so. I know it was a mouthful for me to explain, but yeah, simply put, he attacked Nufi Banga from behind as he felt that he, Banga, was a threat to him, Slim Kirby. And his partner is Luigi. And yes, Luigi has uh, new music. And wow, Luigi's in a hurry, man. But then he stops what he's doing and just gets in the ring. So yeah, Luigi uh, making his uh, WWE 12 debut, and um, I'll tell you one thing: that that music is epic, man. That is, if you're into Italian and whatnot, but... Excuse me, I had a little lunch. Uh, nothing too big this time. But even so, I always get gas for some reason. I don't know why. And for Raw, uh, for uh, the red team, we just got through the blue team. Let's start with the red team. And the first guy they picked was... Well, I don't know if you can see him, but that's Nufi Banga. Uh, in fact, he was the guy that was attacked by Slim Kirby. And of course, Nufi Banga, I knew that Nufi Banga going in was, you know, jealous of Slim Kirby's success, but Slim Kirby looked at him as a threat to his popularity and attacked him. 
from behind, and on the, and on and on the same night that he was attacked, uh, Banga would go on to become the European champion. And I apologize for speaking over the music, but yeah, uh, Banga would go on to uh, win the European championship, and um, that that was just a gut a gut wrenching moment. And it was like, even after all that, he still won. But anyways, moving on. Uh, for Banga, his teammate is Alberto Del Rio. And uh, of course, this was the man that uh, Zorro faced to become the number one contender for the United States Heavyweight Championship. But, uh, but of course, Alberto was chosen uh, to be a part of the red team, along with the Banga and one other person that we've yet to meet. Yeah, that's Alberto Del Rio, and their teammate is Yes. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the WWE 12 debut of Link. Yes, Link has grown his facial hair in. I've, this is the first time I've ever seen him with facial hair. And he's wearing blue, even though he's on the red team for whatever reason. But I guess, I, I mean, I guess uh, I'm, I'm not going to complain to him because, you know, because uh, if I did, I probably would get owned by Link because, you know, I mean, then again, he can wear. Then again, he can wear whatever he wants to because, well, he's Link. <laughs> 